toilet bound plane. Yeah. Yeah. Hours yeah. later, yeah. they asked eyewitness awesome. news, why can't everyone get along? I'm human being, you are human beings. All human beings should live together. Now the two imams were on their way to Charlotte from Memphis for a Muslim conference that will deal with stereotyping their religion. And now they have a prime example to talk about there at that meeting. And tonight they talked to Eyewitness News reporter Tanika Smith about their actions they're taking in order to get some justice there, Tanika. Natalie, the imam's attorney, met them here at the airport just a few hours ago. Now, he tells me his office plans to launch an investigation into this incident. He tells me that if they determine that that, that pilot was not justified in putting those imams off the plane, he will follow suits for negligence and violation of civil rights. Imams Masood Rahman and Mohammed Zaglul arrived at Charlotte Douglas Airport several hours after they were scheduled to arrive. The Muslim religious leaders say their trip was interrupted this morning in Memphis, Tennessee, after a pilot forced them off the plane. It reminded me the black lady was kicked from the, auto, uh, from the bus because of some racism. That history I found today in that plane. Even though both men passed multiple security clearances by TSA and Delta Airlines before boarding, they were re-screened after they were pulled off the flight. Still, they say the pilot refused to let them board. Yes. Mo Idlibi is the imam's attorney. The only reason that the pilot has cited uh, is that some of the passengers didn't feel comfortable, but when the passengers were asked whether anybody felt uncomfortable, none of them indicated that they weren't. The imams say despite urging from Delta officials, the pilot didn't budge. They say Delta management apologized profusely and put them on a later flight. Ironically, Jabril Huff with the Islamic Center of Charlotte says the imams made the trip to Charlotte for a conference of imams where they would be discussing Islamophobia, the fear of Islam. Don't convict them in your, in your mind or in your heart. Imam Rahman says they had no problem with being screened multiple times. It is their job they are doing. It is our job to show our stuff. We don't have anything. You know, we are America. We are living in America. We want the security of America. And its promise of tolerance and equality. I'm human being. You are human beings. All human beings should live together. The imams are in town with about 200 other imams from around the country for this conference. Now, in addition to talking about Islamophobia, they also plan to talk about ways to better interact and engage with the non-Muslim community. Live at Charlotte Douglas Airport, Tanika Smith, Eyewitness News on TV 64. Now, that flight that both imams were kicked off of was operated by Atlantic Southeast Airlines, which is based in Atlanta. It does business with Delta, but it is not part of Delta. Tonight, Atlantic Southeast Airlines told us it apologizes for any inconvenience, but it takes security very seriously. Now, people planning to fly overseas for